thanks for visiting once again guys love having you on the channel here today we're gonna be making a goat curry and for that we're gonna be using about three pounds of goat today we're gonna be cooking we're gonna be using some the usual stuff for curry the garam masala curry powder roasted rum jira garlic peppers onion scallions celery salt paste just a reminder guys, if you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscriber button right now. Also hit the bell icon so you'll be notified every time we post a video to YouTube. And that's about it, so let's get started. Yeah. Okay guys, so to begin with, we have already trimmed off our goat, the fat and the stuff that's usually hanging there and things like that. So now we're going to add some lemon juice. So what you like, goat curry and roti, right? A lot of people like that. So there's going to be one bad goat curry, boys. So we're going to add some vinegar as well. Because as you know, Mr. Ram Goat. Okay guys, so we're going to begin crushing our garlic and preparing our seasonings now. We've added the lemon and the vinegar to the goat and left it there. So we're going to wash that off just now. So I'm just going to pound the celery up in here as well. And we're using a lot of garlic for goat, you have to use a lot of garlic, right? So I finished pounding the garlic and the celery. So we're gonna work on the scallions and stuff now while our goat is still soaking there. So we've done all of our preparations of our seasoning, so we're gonna wash, finish washing our boat now. Okay guys, so it's time to make our curry paste now. So that's it, our curry paste is ready. So our karahi is hot guys, and we're gonna add some oil now. So we're gonna add our onions to our oil. So 
So we usually add our onions first and fry it for a little bit and then add our curry paste but you can add everything at the same time. So we're gonna cook this as usual for around two minutes. So everybody love them some both curry and roti by bad for this. So now we're gonna cover this and let it cook for about two minutes as we said. Salt to taste. Okay guys, so we're gonna give this a good mix and we're gonna cover it and let it bungee. So our curry was bungeeing there for a little bit, so we're gonna give it a turn now. So once you've chunked your masala, your curry paste, and you add your meat. You're gonna bungee that like this here now. You're gonna let it release its juices, its water, and then you're gonna let it evaporate again. So this is, needs a little more evaporating, and then we're gonna move on to the next step. So it has released uh, the water, and most of the water has evaporated. So we're gonna add our water now, guys. So you're gonna give that a good mix. Make sure you scrape the bottom, anything that was sticking on there. Mixing everything together. So basically you just wanna cover, put enough water to level to your meat. Are we gonna cover that now and let it cook? See you in a bit. Okay guys, so our curry has been boiling away. Are we gonna take a check, give a turn now? And it's looking good. and roti today. We're gonna cover this back, let it boil some more, evaporate some more. Okay guys, so our curry is almost done, so we're gonna add the scallions we chopped earlier. We're gonna add the scallions now. So we're just going to give this a couple of minutes more, that's all it needs, and then that's going to be it. Okay guys, so our curry is done now, and that's it there. You want to leave it with a bit of juice, so when it cools off it doesn't get too dry. And that's it there guys, our goat curry is looking yummy. Look at that.
So that's it for this recipe guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Also click the bell icon so that you get notifications from us. Please share this video also. And as always, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.